Go ahead and bait your hook up. Give it a whirl. So we don't have a lot of time out here today, so since I got this ice chisel done and we do have ice, we're gonna try a quickie ice fishing trip. I'll come out later, you know, we'll we'll give it a little better go with a little more equipment later, but for right now, uh, we'll just see if we can get a line wet and pull some fish out. So that little peg, Ethan. So the best way to catch fish is to bring a fisherman with you, and that's why Ethan's out here with me today. And we're going to be using these, I believe these are Shuli brand, uh, ice fishing poles. Now this is a spring bobber pole. So the fish are super lethargic this time of year. So that little flex you see on the tip is pretty much all you're going to get. You know, real minimal equipment is acquired for ice fishing. You know, this is like a made in the USA reel. It's got its own stand. This peg on the top lets you sink it down to the same depth each time, and it was less than 10 bucks. Got the, go, go over that away. That's good. Put that chisel around, or that wrist strap around your wrist there, Ethan. Don't hit my cord. Just let it drop on its own weight. There you go. I'm not much of a fisherman anyway, and I sure ain't much of an ice fisherman. But, uh, you know, this time of year, this is like the only game in town. You know, this is your best chance of getting food is going to be, you know, under the ice right here. And for the weight and cost, you know, a couple dedicated poles, you know, you could utilize a hand line. I think I'll do that in another video here. Uh, just a normal, uh, you know, uh, a tube style or a, a C style hand line, you know, that would work fine for this. But I think what I'm going to do is try out some of the passing, passive fishing methods that I use. Because if I could, uh, you know, figure out some kind of tip up, uh, or you know, maybe use my speed hooks, or see if my yo-yos freeze up, you know, that's definitely, definitely the best chance I've got for uh, getting food off the ice with minimal input. So as far as the sport of ice fishing, you know, like I said before, it's not really my thing. Um, but for, you know, $10 for a rod, you know, made in the USA, is the amount of weight that that takes up, the amount of size that it takes to store, you know, that gives you another tool in your toolbox. But like anything else, you know, you've got to put the time in and learn how to use it. Just having it doesn't uh, mean that you know how to use it. So we're going to give this a go. Uh, tomorrow we'll probably come out a little better equipped. We've got like a layer of uh, slush on top of this ice, so anything we set down, you know, gets wet instantly. So we'll bring some buckets back, 
I'll uh, try to fabricate something to skim the ice out of the hole, which is a continual problem. And we'll give it a try. This has been Jamie Boggs with Burning River Bushcraft. See you next time. What's clickbait? You know what's clickbait is? You, you found a rare tabuja, and then you you keep talking and talking about it, and then at the end, you're like, oh, it, it wasn't here. I thought I saw it yesterday. <laughs> and then people, a whole bunch of people watch it. Or I can just hang out on the ice and fish with you. Well, a bunch of people watch it, you get money. Yeah.